What's up, everybody? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. After a 2-0 day yesterday betting these NBA player props, I am back today with three more, hoping to continue the hot streak. I know, I know today is March Madness Day, but there are still NBA games to be played, which means that there are still NBA player props to hammer. Yesterday, I had Zach Levine under two and a half made three pointers. He hit two. That bet cashed at plus 130 odds, which is lovely. Then I had Al Horford under 19 and a half points, rebounds, assists. He ended with exactly 19. So two plays, all won by exactly one prop. Still counts, still W. That hit at plus 100 odds. So two plays, both of them for plus money, one being literal plus 100, still plus money. Again, hoping to continue the streak today. Before I get into it, would appreciate those of you watching, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on the social media where I post a bunch of plays throughout the day as well. And we can get into it. I know this is coming out a little bit later than normal. Just wanted to get some March Madness stuff out as well. But still, using OddsJam, using the positive expected value page to find and lock in these profitable NBA player props. Play number one, we are looking at Killian Hayes to go under 13 and a half points. This play is at minus 125 odds at bet 365. So the no big odds that you see on the right here under this column, it's where everything is kind of derived from in terms of profitability. So like if you scroll down the positive EV page, you'll see odds on every single play under the no big odds column, right? Every single one. And I won't go too deep into it into this video, but all you really need to know about the Nova Gods is that they're pulled using a weighted average from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds. That is what feeds into these Nova Gods. So you can view them as the true line of a market, in this case, the player points market for Killian Hayes, the true line of what a market should be priced at. Again, in this case, it's minus 130.81. We are getting it all the way down at minus 125 at bet 365. So yesterday, I had two plays that were for plus money. Today, the first play is for minus 125. I do get a lot of questions about like, oh, do I always place the plus or do I always place the minus? Something like that. Number one, when you're on the positive EV page, you're always going to place the bet that is bolded and that has the blue or the green highlight around it. This is always gonna be the bet. In terms of the odds, I don't necessarily only bet plus or minus. I bet whatever's on the EV page. And the most important thing is comparing the odds of your bet to the rest of the market. So a play for minus 125 can be good because look at the other sports books, right? DraftKings down at minus 145. Pinnacle all the way down at minus 168. This is also a good play specifically on price picks as well for those of you that use price picks. But the most important thing, like I mentioned, are the odds of the bet you're placing compared to the rest of the sports books. So this minus 125 is a good play. And it's play number one, Killian Hayes under 13 and a half points, minus 125 at bet 365. Next up, we have another play that is for minus money. We are looking at Drew Holiday to go under four and a half rebounds, minus 120 odds at points bet. Locked in this play as well. The odds jam perfect line, the no big odds price this at about rounding up to minus 124. We are getting it down at minus 120. So there is your profitability. Again, the gap between these two numbers is where your profitability comes from. Same thing here. You want to compare the odds of the bet you're placing and make sure that it's an outlier to the majority of sports books. It's not going to be every single one, and that's okay, as long as it's the majority. And if you look at where the other sports books price it, FanDuel is the only one that's close at minus 125. We see BetMGM at minus 155, Caesars minus 151, DraftKings minus 150, and then odds like, you know, minus 139, minus 149, minus 150 minus 143, minus 160. Either way, no matter how you slice it, we're getting a really, really good price here on Drew Holiday to go under four and a half rebounds. So we're adding it to our plays for the day. This is play number two. Last up, DeAndre Ayton over 
19 and a half points. This is at minus 105 odds at bet MGM. So three plays all for minus money. Like I said, I don't specifically stick to only plus or only minus. It's all about the odds of the bet compared to every other sports book. And let me just look across the board where this DeAndre Ayton one is priced. Minus 120, minus 122. It's the same thing. I don't want to just read out odds across the board for every single play, but this is the type of work and type of research that I recommend doing for every single positive EV play you place. Literally for every single one, I go into the odds and I make sure that I am placing the best of the best. And if there's some bets that aren't an outlier to the majority of sports books, then I won't bet it. And I try to be more selective. Make sure, again, I'm placing the best of the best. But that's all I got for you guys. Three NBA player props to hammer. So I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on social media and have a good one.